So we're visiting this property. I think you're too far. So Aisa is explaining the house. We're gonna go in. We're wearing masks because of mold. I do not like mold. And uh, but mold is gold, right? So here we are. So this all looks right. like a split unit because there's the stairs oh, going it's up. True. So there's stairs here. Yep. Mm, yes, you're right. And Mickey, please show them the the, the sill right here. Oh the my! Look at that. It's been so much water that the the mold is starting to grow everywhere. And look at the floors. So it's so much water that was sitting in the floor. So. So, so look at the floor. So either we're thinking either the radiator leaked, the water that's in the radiator leaked, or something happened with a bathroom somewhere or the kitchen. There must have been something that was just water sitting. Look at all the floors. Everything has to come out. This is the full gap. It has mold everywhere. And they're trying to this is listed on the MLS for 150. <laughs> no, it's this not gonna crazy. go. Oh my the space is Beautiful. Oh, they used to have a hanging ceiling. Yeah, yeah, the drop down ceiling. The drop -down yeah. ceiling. Here, but you have real ceiling yeah. over here. So the thing about Baltimore houses, as you can see, when you come in, it looks like you have tall ceilings. This is the beautiful architecture. We love that in these houses here. I love the so, ceiling mantle. This is very yeah. Now, look at this. There's an addition, but look at me. She is falling. She's falling. It's falling. Like, it's so falling. The, oh my. What we learn about addition is when it's like this, you might want to budget having to fix the floors because the, the, something's not right with the joints. And of course, we're counting all these windows. This is uh, completely fucked up. That means the seal is broken. It has to come out. And I'm pretty sure the next one is not working either. No, we're just, so we're just going to budget everything. Yes. So you look at that. You no, know, this is a, you gotta take everything out. This mold is crazy. Look at that. the board when you walk in. Oh my. Yeah, Do you so see where Aisa is? Look at the floor. So we will open up these walls right there. There's a ton of windows. This is beautiful. It's a lot of light. So when we walk in the house like this, we like to picture already the kind of floor that we want. So these, those walls will have to go. Look at this dining room. It's this beautiful. is a great dining room, really. I love really the nice. windows. Lots I would windows. have done a bigger window, though. I don't know why they did the small one. Yeah, we can make it bigger. I so would that make three it's, windows. That yeah. would be better. So we will cut it open and do a big window. Oh, look at the ceiling. It's actually falling on us. Yep. Get rid of that. We will convert it into a uh, central AC system. Yeah, so we, this we is... Once you convert things, you're able to remove this. Uh, you're gonna love the kitchen. Oh, let's go in the kitchen, <laughs> the heart of the house. Woo, it's tiny. Woo. Yeah, it was a split Woo. unit, so yeah, they definitely. And I don't know if you can see the gap, but there's a gap here, like this floor is falling. Yeah, so it's this just, is another thing where like we would it, it's even like the, the fridge, like the fridge is the, like it's ready. It's, it's almost fine. like an addition, so we would I think, think that the like addition the we have to look at the, the joints for the floors. Let's see. Oh, oh, you want to go? Want to We're gonna have to go, go. Yeah. out the, from the outside. There's an old car over there, so the backyard, you know, we've seen worse, like really. There's more. So we would do living room, dining room, and, and probably kitchen room. And yeah, the kitchen we're probably going to be. Yeah. There's, a, there's a nice full bathroom in here. And we could do the uh, the mud Laundry room, room. The mud room where the kitchen is right now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so this would be uh, this would be the laundry room and the mud room. So we would convert that back kitchen space into the entrance from the back and just have the, the mud room here. But now the question is, where oh, do you put all your, those mirrors. your powder room? Huh. You're missing the powder room. Oh my, the mold, the mold. I'm just hoping that my mask is working well. Mm -mm -mm. So, you're missing the powder room. I said, I don't know which, if we want to go in the, in the basement. Basement? 
Ooh. Um, what is that? That's oh. like too moldy. Wow. This is crazy. I'll leave the door too. I'm going. Can you go in? I don't know. Why should I follow you? <laughs> this is a horrible place. All right. Mold is Not gold. Not too many spider webs. Wow. Well, you know, the good thing is, you know, that, you know, once everything is removed, everything can be worked out. Wow. So, yes. They had a kitchen at here? They, they actually wow. had another unit here. They had a tenant in the So, they had a tenant here, and... Can you put the light on the kitchen? I'll show the kitchen. What's left of the kitchen? Oh, the spider webs going into my face. Mm. <laughs> That's always fun. And there's a full bathroom here. Okay, nice. So plumber is done here. Yeah, you just gotta... And some of the demo too. <laughs> yeah. You know, things are falling by themselves. Okay. Right. I'm trying to clear the spider webs for you. Don't Thank forget you. to move them. Thank you. you. Grab them with your head. Oh my. Here's the side door. So there was a door here for the yeah, basement tent. For the basement tent. So we're okay. going to up. go up now. So if we go up, crazy house. Go up here. But this house has so much potential. Like really, the space is great. Windows, a lot we of light. We all our joints. We yeah. Baltimore houses. You when you do a uh, Baltimore Reno, right you're pretty much redoing the joint. It's a big room. Yeah. Yeah. Very big room. So one. Mm-hmm. There's water in there. There's water, so I'm... Um, the roof. Yeah, the roof. The, roof. the side. Part of some of the side of the set. This is the second bedroom. The second bedroom. With a sad fan. There's water coming in. Coming There's back. water stuck in here too. I mean, that's why it's our house water is... coming there too. There's more. That's why this house is so empty. This is the uh, third bedroom. I'm gonna pull it again. That's yeah. You can fix the joint. And here's the kitchen back here. So that was the fourth bedroom. So this is a three-unit house. What they have. So here. what we would do is. Take this bathroom, turn this bathroom into the master, so connect it to this bedroom here. So make it the master bathroom. And we will go behind and take a little bit into that and make that the, the hall bathroom. All right, there's more stairs going up. Looks like there's an other unit. Yeah, that's the bedroom. So yeah, so this is where your two bathrooms are. So. That means we can actually make it a nice, we can even close the, figure something out and make the master bathroom a nice bathroom because you have room there. Yeah. So we'll Let's go, go up now. We're going up. Mm -hmm. it is oh, this is like so narrow. Okay, so and here. That's why. <laughs> it's so. Two more bedrooms. Two so more bedrooms. Three bedrooms. On the almost attic level. You already done the This is beautiful. You just gotta. Nice floors. It. Maybe we can keep those floors. Maybe these. No, we're gonna have to cut this. Yeah. On top of it. Oh, you can resurface. Yeah, that looks good though. Oh. Oh, no. But you got two more bedrooms here. It's already done for you. Yeah. This is bigger than what's for a person. Large closet. There's another one. So no no bath on this third floor. Maybe we can make the bathroom here. Yeah, we could. We, we could connect space. the third closet and make it a bathroom. There's enough space in this house. We do the tub on the lower part. Let me show you. We sit the tub right here on the lower part of the ceiling. We put the tub, and then we just have to make it like a Jack and Jill yeah. type of bathroom. I love the Jack and Jill. So that I gives you that five bedrooms. Three bathrooms, but we don't have a powder room. 
So we're back here, and I we we did a tour of the house. So the, the stairs. Inside. So this would be open because that's where the, the where the mirror are yeah. is where the stairs are to go to the bedroom. So this comes out. That's what they did that weird drop ceiling. Yeah. Here are your stairs right there. So it would be a matter of where would you put the powder room? That would be our main question. So this this house will need mega reconfiguration. But the neighborhood is very nice. Yeah. It's a very quiet neighborhood here in Baltimore. And um, yeah, we were starting from scratch. So but this is really starting from scratch, which, which can be a good thing because you get to plan the things nicely and to maximize the use of space and, look and at the flow. The fireplace is beautiful. The fireplace is definitely nice something that we're going to yeah. keep. So. So All looking right. at this project, if we're doing a complete gut, we know the budget is 150 minimum. Yeah, for this one. Because we have one. to start, take everything out and start from scratch and doing brand new plumbing, brand new electrical. Your plumbing start, is going to start at 7,000. Your electrical, 7,000 plus the permits. Your HVAC is going to run you about uh, between 7 Eight, and 10. 7 depending and 10. On the, the material is expensive, not just the, uh, not the unit. But the actual duct, the duct material is not cheap. So that also will run you. So that's what we're saying about 150. Then you, we have to check if we have to do siding. We know the windows. So we're here outside. And whew, it's good to breathe outside and not to think about all the smells. Let's go. We're turning the house. Look at this. This is so beautiful. The what brick is nice. It's very so nice. well conserved. It's real nice. The siding looks very good, actually. Mm -hmm. Under there. So I say the spectacle. Under there is nice and clean, actually. Yeah. So this is uh, this is actually very nice. This is the side door. Yeah. This, yeah, that's the side door. The siding is not bad, huh? The siding is actually very good. Yes, some paint. I think we would paint the signing a darker color and just power wash. Oh, look, look at that the souvenir. Car. And there's a two car garage, which is nice. Two car garage. So if we can save the garage, it's a bonus because we would save it and just put a door. A deck here. Yeah, that's security that's, the door. Roof is done. Like that. We know. We know the roof is done. Oh my. So the, the house from the outside looks really nice, actually. You know, it's... Right, so this is, this is good. And a, of course, some yard work, landscaping. Yeah, so this is the yard. The yard is nice. We'll have to clear the... Clear the the yard. Some of the siding. Yeah. So this is it. It's a nice house. Overall, it's a very nice house. So it's a nice house. We'll see how it goes. We'll make the offer, and then from there, we shall see. Yeah.